Whoop, what's happening, YouTube? It's your boy Sock. Check it back in, man. What's up? What's good, everybody? All right, baby. As you can see, man, I'm on the road. We're taking it state to state. You feel me? We're in the great state of Missouri. Beautiful state, y'all. I love this job too, man. And that's what the video is gonna be about, man. The perfect job for ex-con. But before I get into that, let's talk about the great state of Missouri. It's beautiful out here, y'all. I ain't never been to Missouri a day in my life till I started going, you know, state to state with it. So uh we in Springfield, Missouri, at the uh French's you know warehouse trying to get some products loaded on my truck before I can shoot it off to Georgia. So Georgia, here I come, baby. Alright, man. So if you're new to my channel, man, sit back, relax. Hopefully I can make you laugh a little bit and hopefully I can entertain you. Keep you entertained for a few minutes, you feel me? Alright, man. So for the people that's new to my channel, my name is Sock, man. I'm an ex-felon, you feel me? I've been out about two and a half, three years. Um, I struggle with employment or finding my niche, something that I wanted to do and stick to. See, a lot of guys that's coming home from the penitentiary is not going to be able to cope with regular jobs as far as in a warehouse or being around somebody or a, like, you know, um, a authority figure especially if it's authority figure that's like strict you feel me like if you're working in a warehouse somewhere and you got this mean bullshit ass supervisor you might have an ex-con go off on them one day end up losing this job fighting them or something like that man but um say man i'm here to let y'all know the perfect job for an ex felon man all you got to do is stomp down for three to six months put your mind into the school and you can do it baby all right baby so while i'm posted right here waiting for my trailer to get loaded i've been here two and a half three hours i wasn't finna do a video but look like they're gonna leave me here all night getting loaded you feel me hold on i gotta get my drink you feel me hey um that's the only downfall about the drive you know what i'm saying you might pull up somewhere um and they take three four hours to load you and you gotta shoot somewhere else you might be late you or whatever you know what i'm saying but most of the time they get you out of here on time because they know that load got to be picked up at a certain time man all i ask man for to support the channel man is that you push that little thumbs up button leave us a comment down below or push that subscribe button do one of them right now man let's get this video jumping let's get it to a 2,000 10,000 views right now man because it's gonna be the perfect job for anybody um you know now you don't even have to be coming home from the penitentiary man you could be military you could be just anybody that likes to work kind of for yourself but you're not really working for yourself you feel me so let me tell you a little bit about this job and why I love it so much but before that like I was saying the great state of Missouri man hey, and at the end Man, baby, I'm gonna take y'all on an adventure with me. We're gonna holler at the uh, crocodile hunter, man. I just seen him. He went off in there. I think he's looking for a lion or something. She's a beauty. Nah, but for real, we're gonna walk down there. Hey, it's something interesting. I think it's a car down there or something, man. I'm gonna go down there and check it out. Uh, you know me, hell, why I kill time, wait on them to load my trailer. So, boom. All right, man. So for the people who don't know who I am, I've been posting videos. You can go back and watch some of the videos. But I'm trying to transition, you know, tell prison stories, tell life stories, and just relate to real life. You feel me? That's all I do or try to do on this channel. Give me a sip. All right, baby. So when I first came home, man, when I first came home, man, employment was a struggle because I didn't have an idea of what I wanted to do. You feel me? Nobody wants to work as a motherfucking restaurant. Uh, nobody wants to work as a bus boy their whole life. Nobody wants to work in a warehouse their whole life for pennies. You know, $14, $15 an hour, maybe less than that. You feel me? So... I struggled a little bit. When I came home, the first job I got was working as an apprentice, a, pl a plumber helper, you feel me? And they started me off at minimal wage. I think I was making like 15 bucks an hour. All my coworkers were working 19, all my coworkers were making 19, 21 dollars an hour. I'm talking about brand new, off the muscle, don't no experience. I was the only black guy working for my company, but hey, you know how that goes. I'm carrying all the heavy shit. I'm making 15 dollars an hour. So, you know, after so long of carrying all the heavy shit and doing all the heavy work and you getting paid the less you get to thinking like <laughs> what the fuck am i doing wrong eventually i got tired of that bullshit and was like damn i gotta you know think of something better to do at the same time though i'm posting on youtube youtube paying but not much you know youtube is for like youtube is for like extra change money you know what i'm saying i have never made more than six to seven hundred bucks on youtube a month that's it you feel me they pay one time that's it all right so boom to all my ex felons um um, ex-military or anybody man that's just looking to do something for themselves. I'm gonna tell you why this is the perfect job.
job for yourself. Number one, you only got two jobs, man. Pick up the pack on time and drop the pack on time. And that's it. You don't have nobody watching over your shoulder, nobody to tell you, hey, yo, get up there now, this and that, none of that, man. And your own, you move at your own pace. See, a lot of people need to move at their own pace, especially coming from an institution. Or, and that's why I love being a trucker so much because for one, there's no supervisor in the truck with me watching over me saying, hey, don't eat chips right now. Hey, don't uh, talk on your phone right now. Um, this is a laid back job. I bullshit you now. All you're doing is driving, man. You have to be safe. Two things, man. You have to stay awoke because that's one of the biggest things that um, happens. And you have to know how to drive. That's it. Keep the wheel steady and know how to turn. Man, real simple. And it's a high paying demand job right now. It's a high demand job and it's a high paying right now, y'all. You can't beat it. You basically working for yourself. Um, this trucker society is big. Man, I'm going to show y'all at the end, too. We're going to take a little walk. I'm going to show you, man. And they still don't have enough drivers in this world. They still don't have enough trucks in this world. Trucks is what make the world go round. I'm not, this ain't me selling it to you. I don't care what you do. I'm trying to help somebody out. You feel me? Take the time to go do that schooling, man. It's three to six months. Um, you got you got companies that will pay you $10,000 just to go to school and then $10,000 sign-on bonus just to work for them. But of course, there's gonna be a contract where you're working for them for two years. Of course, it ain't that easy. We ain't gonna put you through school and put you on and then you just get to leave. It ain't like that. So you do have to sign some kind of sign-on bonus or contract with them. But hey, it's all worth it in the end. But before they even started making everybody go to school, I took the um, the real, real easy route the, where you didn't have to go to school. I just um, went and got the book, studied a little bit, went down there, took the test, and then got in the truck, had you know people helping me, showing me, teaching me how to drive the truck, went down there, took the test, bam. Just like that, I became a CDL driver, you feel me? It don't, don't, and, and don't get discouraged, man. Um, I tell anybody, don't get discouraged if you go down there and get your CDL license. Man, I failed the test twice. I passed it on my third time. Not the ridden part, but the driving part, man. So it is a struggle. But back to the best thing about the job, man. You get to see and do whatever you want, man. From, you know, I, I mean, there's down, you know, it does have it ups and downs. You know, if you got family, kids, stuff like that. I have family and kids and stuff like that too but i also want to provide you know you got to tell your girl you got to pick one man that's the wrong one that's what's wrong with ladies that's what's wrong with y'all we can't be there the whole time and provide you got to pick one baby you want me to go work or you want to be at home love it be a lovey-dovey carrying all this extra shit to you you got to pick one baby most women gonna say baby go get that money you feel me and just bring it back but to the ones you know that's doing their own thing hey hey man to each his own so that's kind of my story man coming home i didn't know my niche I didn't know which way to take, which route to go, you know, uh, my twin brother is a truck driver, you know, he's been telling me about it, telling me, hey, go get your CDA, you're going to love it, this and that. All I thought about the whole time was, man, I don't want to be on the road away from my family the whole time. It's not even as bad as most people think. I promise you, if that's how you think it, I was thinking the same way. That was the only thing that was stopping me from getting my CDL is saying, I don't want to be on the road away from my family. You still get family time. You, I mean, it just depends on it. The, this is a wide open field, meaning you can work for an independent contractor. You can work for a company. You can work for yourself. You can go get your own truck. You can work your own hours. It's a bored literally you work when you want to work man and it's the perfect profession let's just say um you don't need much money you know you want to go do two loads a week that's it you pick up and this you pick up right here you go drop it that's an easy six seven hundred dollars man same thing you pick up you go drop man you can work twice out of a week if you want to man your Verizon is open but the biggest thing is everything is on you everything is on you can't nobody else fuck up or tell you what to do except for you you know if your load is due at 5 a.m you know you got to be here at 5 a.m you can't be down in uh 
Windstar Casino at 4.30 a.m. and hopping, running out the casino, hopping in your truck trying to go drop the load. That's just irresponsibleness. That's it. You just have a, you just got to have a little lack of sense and timing. You know, hey, if it take two hours to get to, I'm in mean, Missouri now, if it take 11 hours to get to Illinois, I can't hang out in Missouri all the way until nine hours left and try to get, come on, that's irresponsibleness, man. I recommend being a CDL driver to everybody, man. Anybody that kind of like just don't want to, you know, deal with supervisors or other um, co-workers, stuff like that, man. This is the perfect profession. You get in, you in your own lane, you do what you do, go to the casino, eat your food, uh, stop at a hotel, you know, mess with chicks, uh, mess with men. This is both. This is a man job and a woman job, you feel me? The profession is growing and growing and growing and it's a high demand right now and they're paying. You know, I think the, the minimum wage for a truck driver right now is minimum truck drivers making 900 a week minimum that's minimum wage so 900 a week that's roughly 3600 a month you know and i'm talking about taxes without tax i mean i'm talking about um and i'm talking uh after taxes bring it home 3600 and that's minimum and it can go all the way up to 10,000, man. Just depend on where your horizon, what you want to do, man. And trust me, man, I, I'm just like y'all. I like to relate to people in the world. So I'm, what I'm telling you, man, is some real shit. What I'm telling y'all is some real information. Uh, with that being said, y'all, we're going to take a little tour, man. We in Missouri, Springfield. Uh, just posted. We're going to finna walk around a little bit, man. Uh... Boop, we got the truckers lined up over there. A few trucks. They, these are the trailers. So what am I at? What I'm at right now is actually. Alright, so where I'm at right now is actually a distribution center or whatever. You feel me? So boom, all these are trailers. They load them up. Uh somebody hooks up to them. You go take it, drop it off, and go on about your life. You feel me? And like I said, it's a wide it's a wide horizon of things you can do. So if you have your own truck and trailer, you'll be making more money due to the fact you got a truck and a trailer, you feel me? So you ain't never gotta leave your trailer nowhere. You pick up a load, they come unload it, you drop it, you just keep moving, man. But you know, if you're renting a trailer or something from somebody, you gotta pay them a fee for their trailer or whatever. So you're not making as much, but you're still making a lot of money, man. Like I told you. All right, baby, we're going to see the Crocodile Hunter right now. She's a beauty. Oh, she's a... Ah, fuck that. Y'all, I was joking. <laughs> you won't get me. <laughs> you won't get me like that. <laughs> Black guy comes up missing in Missouri Springfield. <laughs> For real. <laughs> what happened to Psych, y'all? I don't know. That crazy ass nigga went down there in the field and, and, and we never seen him again. <laughs> she... I'm loving life too much right now, y'all. But, um... All right, but back to what I was saying though. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you like, so basically what you do, man, real simple. And you do this everywhere you go. There goes the manager. I mean, there goes the Frenchie shipping and receiving. All right, basically, basically this is what the job consists of, y'all. That's what you call the yard dog right there. Yard dog. He the one who move all these trailers so they can get loaded. So, man, I swear, this is the easiest job ever. Once you, once you, once you learn how to whip this big truck, that's the hardest part is whipping the big truck. But I promise you, man, you got women four foot two doing it, so anybody can do it, man. Don't doubt yourself. Oh, I can't drive like that. Well, yeah, there's some people that can't drive. You know you can't drive a regular car. Stay the fuck away from these trucks. <laughs> all right, real simple, y'all. Boom, you see all these little slots? All you do is pull up, go in the office. Um, they tell you what door to go into. You bag into the door, and you sit in your truck. You don't do nothing. You don't touch no shit, no hard work, no nothing. They got people that's in that warehouse. They load your truck up. Once they load it, that light right there turns uh, green. They all green right now. But when they're loading it, they turn red. That means stop. Don't go your ass nowhere, you feel me? And boom, once it's turned green, it's time to go. That's it. You get your paperwork and you head to your load, man. It's real simple. 
Yeah. And that's the life of a CDL truck driver. But right now, I'm still waiting on my truck to get loaded, man. So, and shout out, man, to everybody that's been following me on YouTube for a while. Uh, we, we drop all kinds of videos, baby. I, sometimes I'll make you laugh. Sometimes I'll make you cry. Sometimes I'll make you want to beat me up, man. Uh, either way it go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, man. That's it in that song. Uh, appreciate y'all, man, for tuning in. Man, like I say, if it's some people out there that got out of prison, or if some people out there that's looking for employment don't know which direction to go, man, this is the fastest way to make over 75 grand a year easily, man. All you gotta do is put your mind to it, man. Go sit down three to six months in school, Go sit down three to six months in a train a driver school. It's not even every day. It's like I mean, and it's not even all day. You go, um, you go to school for like four hours out of a day, man. And it's only three to six months. Three to six months to be set for the rest of your life, man. To have that license for the rest of your life, man. Uh, it's worth it. With that being said, man, I appreciate everybody tuning in with another video with Sock. Go get your CDL license. Go hard or go home, man. Much love, much respect. It's your boy Sock, signing out.